Two weeks ago, I introduced the LCS Roundup where we looked at all the regions that played besides EU and NA. Since you guys liked it and I love making it, we are in for round two. And with the second regional now in the books, the major is getting closer and closer for the top teams. The first region we want to look at is Sam. And you can see there are some surprises in this Swiss stage already. Crew did not make it and True Neutral beat them in round number five. And there was a huge upset, but also Hero Base didn't make it. So the roster around Set, Claws, and drops also couldn't make it through the Swiss stage. Furia, very convincing, and even beat Complexity, the reigning champions. And this promised to be a good regional once again. One other big thing that I want to point out is that in the last regional, Gamer Legion had to forfeit their last two games. They were 2 1 up in the Swiss stage, and then they had to forfeit. And was pointed out in the comment section under the video that there was a forest fire near the players, and they had to leave their home, so they had to forfeit their game. Absolutely insane, but it turned out everyone was fine and this time around then they made it to the playoffs and they even scored this banger right here oh that's another great pass but uh unbroken was not there yet oh what a save and the and the and the cycle what what a cycle my pan what a cycle my pan what is it by the way, if you want to watch Sam, I highly recommend you watch this stream by Gamer Legion because they got Jamako as a caster and he's most definitely bringing the right energy for good viewing experience. And as you just saw, Gamer Legion plays good Rocket League as well. Now we move to the playoffs and there you can see that Complexity could not defend their title. Furia this time around was too strong. They won this regional with an astonishing 4-1 in the semi-finals and then in the grand finals they also took down NIP. However, the biggest heartbreak once again was in this gamer legion game right here where they had the chance to equalize with zero seconds left but they couldn't get it done i will have it in the background right here and then we want to take a look at the standings for sam and there you can see that furia is now in the prime position to get a major spot they only have two major spots and complexity is right on their heels but nip brought themselves into a position where they could also get a spot if they take down complexity very early next time and crew unfortunately with not making it out of swiss kind of lost too much ground now to make up for that with the new format however it could happen that furia and complexity don't even qualify and therefore it's even possible for the ninth place to still make it and not only get a tiebreaker but a direct qualification spot if everyone above them doesn't even make it get zero points they would get 16 and therefore have 26 and would be qualified for the major so the new format allows a lot of possibilities but by the looks of it furia and complexity will be the two teams going to the major from sam the next region is mina they played once again and they had all their top teams advance falcons and rule one with three and oh and then infinity who had a great tournament last time around also three and one once again and twisted minds also at three and one so no surprises in the swiss stage right here and then in the playoffs there also weren't any surprises it got very close in some of these matches and rule one seemed way more competitive this time around but it was still not enough okalet however scored this awesome goal right here and with now two major spots available to Mina for the majors, you can see that Falcons already clinched one of them, but Rule 1 could also still go. And they are looking very much to do exactly that with two grand final appearances. They will need a massive portal job to still miss this right here, even though Infinity, 5 Vet, R8 and Twisted Minds are trying to stay in contention, but they are still nine points off, which is a massive gap. And therefore you can expect Falcons and Rule 1 to go to Copenhagen. The next region right here is SSA, in my opinion, a very interesting region in this season because of the new rules that other regions can play even though they are not residents and you can see that limitless once again went three at all but also young money clan which is an eu team drift queen which is an eu team also three and one very convincing and this gave us the following playoff tree and there we saw that limitless still has the upper hand in that region despite two eu teams battling it out in the other semi-final to go to the grand finals limitless once again 
took them down just like last time around. They just were the better team. It's not just the ping that is hindering Young Money Clan to win these games. So the SSA team is defending the region's honor. For the next regional, however, Young Money Clan already announced they will be flying over to South Africa and therefore the last regional will be very interesting. If we take a look at the standings right here, you will see that SSA, however, only has one major spot and therefore with the two wins Limitless now has, YMC has to rely on them not making the grand finals because if they do, it doesn't even matter if they then would win the regional because Limitless with two regional wins would just have more points than them and therefore it's looking quite likely that we will have an SSA team representing SSA at the major. In OCE then guys, we also did not have any surprises in the Swiss stage. This seems to be an EU and NA thing that some big teams struggle big time. All the ones that should make it, made it as well and if we take a look at the playoffs, we also saw a familiar picture because Power won once again. Chiefs and Ground Zero made it to the semis. Unfortunately for Pioneers though, they threw away a big lead, 3-1 and one in the series and eventually lost to Chiefs in overtime on Champions Field. So not their best tournament and we got two game sevens in the quarterfinals and then afterwards only sweeps. So once again, the quarterfinals, the way more interesting matches, just like in the other regions. But Power is playing phenomenal Rocket League. Check this clip out. Down to from Torsos. FIFA just gets an open net. 4-0 with a minute left. A passing plays from the boys. No, what's happening? Okay. What's happening? And with a look at the standings, it's looking quite good for power because they're already clinched. And then there is a massive gap of 14 points to the second place. And then it's a wide open race. OCE also has two spots for Copenhagen. And therefore the Chiefs, Gremlins and Pioneers brought themselves into the best position to get the second ticket. But you can see how close the midfield is there. And therefore the last OCE regional should be a good one as well. Moving on to the last region in this video. And there we have the Swiss stage of APAC and the first thing you can see is that Apps Crazy's new team Chappity Dream was not a one-time wonder in the last regional. They once again went 3-0 Gaming Gladiators as well and Elevate this time around only a 3-1 and, and Detonator also made it and this right here was their playoff bracket and there we didn't have a single game 7 but we saw Gladiators beating Elevate in a very convincing fashion. They afterwards went on to win the entire regional and this was huge for them as well as for Los Angeles Signal, who by the way are an NA roster. You can see them down here. Luna, Ney and Furlash were the ones competing in the grand final. But I say this is big for them because if we take a look at their standings, you can see Elevate won the first regional, then went out in the semis. Then Gaming Gladiators did the exact opposite and they are tied now. APEC only with one major spot and this couldn't be any closer with Chabity Dream now also in contention and Detonator and LA Signal all also on their heels so the last regional in APEC should be a banger. That guys wraps it up for today. I really hope you got the information you came here for and if you enjoyed the video sub to the channel and I'll see you next time. <laughs>